Welcome everybody to St Andrew's Family Time. I'm Gaynor from St Andrew's Church in St Helens. Today we are thinking about another miracle that Jesus did when he healed a man who'd been unable to walk for many, many years. Nikki will show us a way to have a race. Jean will tell us the story. Anna will ask some questions to get us talking. And Nick will show us a creative way to pray. And now it's over to Nikki for our race. Today, our suggestion for a race is a three-legged race. So, you'll need a scarf or a piece of long material. Two and um, two people in your on, in your family. And if you stand together and tie your legs together that are next to each other, then you create a kind of three leg effect. So you have to move the middle leg together. So you move, you tie these two legs together and you move those two together and see if you can have a race in your garden or move around your house walking together. I have lots of fun, everyone. Thank you, Nikki. In our three-legged race, you will need somebody to help you. And when we hear the story today, you'll hear how Jesus helps the man who is unable to walk to the pool by himself. So let's go over to Jean to have our story. Today's Bible story can be found in St John's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 1 to 15. It tells us about a man who had been lying in his bed by the pool for 38 years. Yes, 38 years. Isn't that an awful long time? After speaking to Jesus, he was able to pick up his bed and walk. Let's watch this cartoon and see what happens. God's Story, The Pool of Bethesda. So part of God's story is about a trip Jesus took to a part of Jerusalem called Bethesda. And it begins like this. Jesus was returning to Jerusalem to celebrate a big Jewish holiday. Now, Jesus had done some really incredible things since the last time he was there. He turned water into wine, threw dishonest merchants out of God's temple, healed a young boy about to die, and taught lots of people about God. While Jesus was in Jerusalem, the next part of his mission was to visit the Pool of Bethesda. But this isn't the kind of pool you might be thinking of. There was no sunscreen, no swimsuits, and no big diving board for cannonballs. This was a place of sickness and pain. Blind, crippled, and paralyzed people came to the pool, waiting and hoping to be healed. See, there was a popular story that an angel with healing powers would come down and stir the water, and the first person to touch the water would be cured of whatever was hurting them. Some of the people had waited there for years, maybe even decades, hoping that one day they would be healed. Unfortunately, this story about the angel wasn't true. The pool didn't have special powers, and it wasn't going to heal anyone. But Jesus' power is real, and it can heal people. Jesus saw a man who had been sick for 38 years. He asked the man, would you like to get well? That probably seemed a little weird since everyone around the pool was there to be healed. But the man answered anyway. I can't, sir, the man replied. He had waited by the pool hoping to get healed, but because he couldn't walk, someone always made it to the pool before him. So he thought he could never be healed. But remember, the pool didn't have any power, so it wouldn't have healed him anyway. What the man didn't know was that he wouldn't have to wait for healing any longer. Jesus simply said, stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. And then the man did. Instantly, he was healed. Then Jesus left, disappearing into the crowd. Kids, have you ever waited for something for a really long time? Later, Jesus found the man in the temple and told him, 
Now you are well, so stop sinning or something even worse may happen to you. Jesus didn't just want to heal the man's body. He wanted to heal his heart because he loved him. And the coolest part? Even though we mess up and disobey God, Jesus loves us and wants to heal our hearts too. And that's the story of Jesus at the Pool of Bethesda. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus went to Jerusalem. Jesus went to the Pool of Bethesda. Sick people gathered around the pool to be healed. A man had been waiting 38 years. Jesus healed him. Jesus told the man to stop sinning because he loved him. Jesus loves us too. And that's a part of God's story. Thank you, Jean. Did you notice that in the video, Jesus noticed the man? The man didn't call for Jesus' attention. Jesus noticed him. And when Jesus told him to pick up his mat and walk, he immediately obeyed. So even though he'd been unable to walk for 38 years, he seems to have completely trusted in Jesus's ability to help him. Now let's go to Anna for some questions for you to discuss with your family. Why do you think that Jesus asked the man, do you want to get well? Is there anything that you struggle with? Would you or do you pray about it and ask Jesus to help you? Thank you, Anna. In the Bible, in a book called Proverbs, it says, do good to people who need help. And that is what Jesus spent his life doing. Have you ever tried to do bubble writing? It's a really good way to doodle. I've made a bubble writing poster of that sentence. Do good to people who need help. So I've drawn the outline in a dark coloured pen so that it shows up well. And then I've coloured in the inside of each of the letters in a different way. So I've got dots and I've got horizontal lines and I've blocked some letters in. I've just got four more to finish. What shall I do with this H? Let's have some lines. And what shall we do with the E? Let's have some dots. You'll have your own ideas. You might well have more ideas than I've had. And I think the L, I will just colour in completely. Make it really stand out, make it bold. And then with the P, let's have some zigzags. Enjoy doing your bubble writing and perhaps you'd like to put the poster on your bedroom door or perhaps use some magnets to attach it to the fridge to remind you of our message today. Do good to people who need help. Now we're going to go over to Nick for a creative way to pray. Now today, I'm inviting you to go on a prayer hunt. 
Not a bear hunt. No, a prayer hunt. Come on. We're going on a prayer hunt. It's going to be a good one. We're not scared. Where are we? And what can we see? It's a school. Don't rush past it. Don't ignore it. We're going to pray for it. Loving God, I can see a school. It makes me think of children and teachers. Please help, heal and encourage them. Amen. We're going on a prayer hunt. It's going to be a good one. We're not scared. Where are we? And what can we see? It's a park. Don't rush past it. Don't ignore it. We're going to pray for it. Loving God. I can see a park and it makes me think of time with family and friends. Please help them, heal them and encourage them. Amen. We're going on a prayer hunt. It's going to be a good one. We're not scared. Where are we? And what can we see? It's a doctor's surgery. Don't rush past it. Don't ignore it. We're going to pray for it. Loving God, I can see a doctor's surgery. It makes me think of people who are sick and unwell. Please help heal and encourage them. Amen. We're going on a prayer hunt. It's going to be a good one. And we're not scared. Where are we? And what can we see? It's a cemetery. Don't rush past it. Don't ignore it. We're going to pray for it. Loving God, I can see a cemetery. It makes me think of people who have died and people who have lost loved ones. Please help heal and encourage them. Amen. We're going on a prayer hunt. It's going to be a good one. We're not scared. Where are we? And what can we see? It's St Andrew's Church. Don't rush past it. Don't ignore it. We're going to pray for it. Loving God, I can see a church building. It makes me think of the people who make up St. Andrew's Church. Please help them, heal them, and encourage them. Amen. Thank you, Nick, for that great way to pray. Well, that's all for now. We'd love to hear from you and see what you've been making. You can message us via the St Andrews Denton's Green Facebook page or you might want to post something in one of our WhatsApp groups. Look out for another video next week when you'll hear another of Jesus' miracles. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notification of each new video? See you next week. See you next time. Bye. -bye. See you next time.